can add a lot to people's lives. For most of us who are past our primes, we use sports as entertainment, maybe even as a way to stay in shape or as a hobby. Athletes have many reasons to play, and at times, it's an outlet to get away from whatever they're enduring in life. That's definitely the case for one senior soccer player for Drake. Alyssa Brand never backs down from a challenge. She's like the fighter that you would think she is, you know, getting uh, in there and winning balls in the air, um, but she's also a very clean technical player. Long lauded for her tenacity on the pitch, the two-time second-team All-NBC midfielder was putting together a stellar junior season. And I'm like, all right, it's full go. We're playing. When she was blindsided by perhaps the toughest opponent she's ever faced. I felt a lump in my neck, um, and then I went to, like, the clinic, and then told our trainer, went to the doctor, so then he got an ultrasound, didn't look normal, so I flew home for a biopsy. It was all pretty quick. In the midst of the final stretch of a magical season for the Bulldogs, Alyssa found out she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. But just like on the field, she wasn't ever going to back down. Obviously the news, I was really like terrified at first because I didn't exactly know what it meant going forward. Um, but once I could like finish out the season, it was going to be like a surgery and I sort of knew what to expect. I was sort of able to compartmentalize it, put it, you know, in its place, think about it when it was appropriate, but then sort of continue to play the season. If anybody like would have had a dream light to crumble in that moment, it would be Alyssa. She flew home to Chicago and then her family drove her the next day to Evansville. And the following day, um, she played in that game and had either one or two assists, but was like a fantastic player in this. And then she had two diving headers against Illinois State a few days later to help us win the league. With help from her family and teammates, Alyssa is back on the pitch for her senior season. Cancer free. It goes both ways. Like, I don't realize how much I impact them, and they, I don't think I can articulate or show appropriately how much, like, they impact me and their support means to me at all. But ultimately, like, it was the driving force behind me being able to step out on the field each day, knowing, like, they all had my back. The way she went through this process is the way you would want anybody to go through. I mean, she was, like, the ideal fighter, um, ideal teammate, just took everything in stride, um, and, and just, honestly, she couldn't have handled it better. And in Alyssa's journey, she learned a valuable lesson about the game and life. I think um, just gave me a new perspective. Like sometimes the result isn't the most important thing. Um, I'm like hesitant to say that because I, like, you know, I want to win always. But um, just you know, having being healthy and having the ability to go to class and play soccer, it just sort of is like a privilege now. What a great story of passion and fight ultimately coming out on top. Alyssa and her team will get the season rolling on the road this Friday against San Francisco at the Montana Cup. So we certainly wish them luck this season.